What's going on guys, Tosker here and in this video we are going to create a barcode generator and we will be using the Byte Scout SDK. However, getting started, uh, one thing you will need at first is to download the demo version of the Byte Scout barcode generator. A uh, link to that will be in the description and once you download and install that it's actually real quick and easy it's not complicated at all. This being said what will also be in the description is a download to this base project that we're looking at here. It'll basically include most of these files which are currently empty. We are going to be programming them um, but it does include the relay command which I've covered in past videos and the observable object which I have also covered in other videos. Now what we're going to do is like I mentioned we're going to generate some barcodes we're going to learn how to export them as images export them as PDFs and we're also going to use the Byte Scout component to generate a batch of barcode outputs to a Word document. What we're going to need first are to add some references to our project. So we'll go over here to our Solution Explorer going to right click and we're going to hit add reference and once we're here we're going to I have it in my recent here however you're going to want to hit browse and we're brought to everything here we're going to go to our local disk as I mentioned once you install the demo you should have the bytes that uh, byte scout SDKs here we want to go to the barcode generator net 4.50 and here are our DLLs. So we're simply just going to add these into our project. Going to click OK. And now, of course, we should see it over here in our references. Closing this, we do want to do one more thing. We want to right click our project. We want to go to Manage NuGet Packages. Once this is brought up, we want to type in Microsoft Word and we want to find here we go we want to find the microsoft office interop word we want to click that and come over here and select install it'll set everything up for us once we click ok and we see down here it is finished so we can simply just exit out now 